this is a little film to show you how and why a very large picture was painted in a very small studio in Bridlington in East Yorkshire in 2007. Those are the trees uh, that become the painting later and I'm just doing first drawings uh, that I then blow up on a Xerox machine to get the height, work out height, uh, work out how to do two canvases I think isn't it and then I got come back home though and do one from memory uh, I do a painting there that's just done from memory back here mm. uh, then the next day after doing that I then went and did a double one uh, same place uh, there you are, it's a dub, uh, double size, um, I'm looking at it, spreading it out, uh, then on Monday I went and did a six, drew it out, bigger, uh, then went out, drew it in the studio first, then we go out back again, <coughs> painted it there. Uh, bring it back, stick it up and paint on it, uh, make the sky more dramatic here uh, and then we stopped, I went to LA and in LA on the 18th of February uh, I was in LA and I was looking at the reproductions we'd got this is my studio mm. in LA and I'm, there's the reproductions on the wall and I'm looking at them and then uh, on one wall yes, well, okay. this wall I suddenly see all the Waldgate pictures um, these are the Waldgate pictures I made nine paintings of six canvases each as you can see um, uh, nine paintings of six canvases each adds up to 54 canvases and uh, that's quite a lot of canvases and I realized uh, when I saw them together that you could make one big picture uh, of uh, these canvases. I'd seen them in Bridlington um, when uh, uh, originally and I thought well yes we could uh, it would be possible uh, to make a great big picture uh, of uh, and cover the wall of the Royal Academy. I know how to do it without a ladder uh, and therefore I started work in LA immediately uh, <clears throat> I put this this is me drawing a motif that in the end I didn't use I did another one and then we come back to East Yorkshire uh, this is now the drawing bit um, I start the I start planning the canvas and this is the, uh, I start the drawing for it from the looking at the old canvas, uh, the six one and I'm now planning it on 50 which is going to be very very big mm. to take up the whole wall of the Royal Academy and the reason I wanted to take up the whole wall was because if I didn't they'd squeeze something else in on the wall as well so I knew I should have gone round the corner as well but never lie um, and this from the drawing it tells you which bit I'm going to look at but they are painted out there looking at the trees um, and then we photograph them when they come back and uh, then they can we start making the grid up uh, you'll see which you'll see later um, each 
Camus's photograph, then we put it on a grid like that. So, and there's the Royal Academy room, you see. Mm. And I can then see uh, how the painting is progressing uh, only by looking at the computer because we can only see, what, six at a time in uh, Brid, mm. in the studio, mm. yeah. Back and forth, back and forth. Sometimes it took, you see there, you can see it progressing. I'm, we keep printing it out uh, and then I can see where to go. Then sometimes I draw on the thing itself, on the printout, uh, so you can get clear. Uh, we can just, here we're taking out 18 canvases, actually in two vans, and we did use every one. Everyone was touched, actually. Mm. Uh, it was necessary, yeah. Uh, but we could only see, we could see, what, 10. We, we moved it to five, yeah. We can see 10 there now. Um, there's, I think, the first reproductions. Uh, is growing I mm. keep drawing yes. the tree in the tree the big tree in the foreground has to be drawn in the studio because you've, you've so many canvases to move uh, and then we print it out and I'm putting my figures in uh, mm. now you can see how it was made bit by bit this will show it to you yeah those are the first canvases you see and they'll go out again because they'll need more on them but that's this is how it's growing yeah and this is the only way I could keep seeing it on the prints um, and planning which ones to take out next. Uh, you see the big tree covers about 30 canvases. Gosh. Uh, yes. So you have to uh, move a lot about. It means you can move a lot about because you can only have 10 at a time. Yeah. The end changes are subtler, so you don't see them as much, yeah. Mm. Just odd branches changing and things, yeah. Fascinating. Then we rented this warehouse. So where, where we, we, uh, where we uh, see it, yes. Yeah, to, to yes. put it up in Bridlington. We just rented this for a week. And it was, we had to actually uh, put it at an angle because it wasn't wide enough. Uh, but that's the only time I saw it. And then we have them come to collect it and take it down to the Royal Academy. Um, there they are, they have to collect 50 canvases, oh. remember? Put them in boxes. Uh, they all go in boxes. And then, uh, then presumably they're numbered. So they're, yeah, oh yeah, all problem. numbered. Uh, then they go in their van, a great big van, leaves Bridlington with the painting. Remember, it's how big that painting is. Uh, on the way to the Royal Academy. Here we are at the Royal Academy, where, if I think right, you can actually smoke outside. <laughs> yes, they allow you to smoke outside. Very nice of them. Uh, there we are. All the boxes had to be on, and they had hung the rest of the room actually when they told us to come um, uh -huh. that, that was the guardian that day yeah. uh, there we got it up and there that's a picture posed we posed it uh, to show you it and then uh, a bit later on at the end of the exhibition on the 25th of August, uh, when they took down the rest of the room, we put up a reproduction on both walls, and yeah. that's how we're going to do it at Tate Britain, I think. 
uh, it's more like a cloister now and actually the picture seems the quiet picture it is really mm. although it's very big it's yeah. a quiet picture actually yeah.